Hello, everybody. Woo, great crowd, great crowd. I'd like to thank you all so much for coming out and being loud. My name's Jake Mikowski, kind of like a Mike Wazowski, but I'm not a one-eyed goblin, as you can hopefully see. Uh, I'm here before you today to share what I think to be the crux of what it means to be a part of humanity. You see, we're all good at something. How much I know more than nothing. And when we use our talents to come together, we can weather whatever weather comes away from day to day and grow close like two birds of a feather. Now tell me what could be better, right? <sighs> so, thanks. So, I like to rhyme. Uh, I know, right? Big surprise. And uh, I'm gonna be rhyming from now to the day of my demise because rap is a form of articulate expression which can lessen the transgressions made from a lack of affection and too much aggression. Now, I have a dream that over time people will see that inspiration is not at all hard to create and that it's pretty easy to relate to one another and see others as our sisters and brothers when we learn to communicate. I said, there are wonderful forms of appreciation surrounding us that penetrate strife and these forms represent the fascination that every individual has with life. I truly believe that when you find yourself, you don't simply sit around and play the cards that you would dealt, but instead surpass exasperation, finding your imagination and true preoccupation which can fuel your motivation. See a world without irritation, aggravation, and segregation instead see each other with exultation, adoration, and diversification. <laughs> so, we all have a gift. Mine might be words, you know, eloquence and relevance have kept my life in order since. It needn't be spoken to say what you need to say. It's anything you love to do from day to daily day, like baking food, playing hockey, singing songs, being a jockey. Being naughty, being nice, or skating on a rink of ice. If you're smart, find a kid to teach, or join a club to give a speech. Wrestle me down to the ground, or dance for me something profound. You know a list of cars, you share them. Know how to style your clothes, you wear them. Be a skier on the snow, or heck, own me at some tic-tac-toe. Because once I see your passion glow, so much more about you I'll know. So I'm going to rap today, not about sex, money, or cars, but a rap about the past, the present, the future, and who we are, because we is a powerful word. It's a powerful word indeed. It implies a sense of unity and of camaraderie. Mutual understanding, it's how we know communication is landing. And when I say communication, it's not just words that I'm demanding. It can be anything you love, anything at all. Anything that when you do it, you do it well, and you stand tall like, yeah, that's right, I'm here, I'm good, I'm unbelievable. And then the people beside you will choose to reside in you. Their passion and dreams, even if it's a, a dream for Kit Kat ice cream, skirt, hold up girl, Kit Kat ice cream bars? How has no one ever thought of that before? That's such a good idea. Oh, those would be so good, so good. And that is why we as humans keep on dreaming like we should. I had a friend in middle school. Her name was Mae McHenry. She was quiet and shy, and she was pretty friendly, but when she drew on a piece of paper, you know, it was really just like squiggles, and when she spoke, it wasn't articulate. It mainly consisted of giggles, and when most people think of the center of attention, well, I don't think they'd think of her. She kept to herself, didn't talk about how she felt, and often waited for things to occur, but <laughs> hold on. Because this girl had a talent I could never forget. I could eat a dozen of her blueberry pies and not even feel regret. Okay, maybe a little regret. But this girl was a chef at the ripe old age of seven. And I swear when her time comes, she'll be making cupcakes in heaven. Now she was now going, and she certainly wasn't a flirt, but you could hear her whole life passion with just a bite of her dessert. So, uh, time out from the rap. Uh, Judging from the audience's facial expressions, you're either very impressed with the performance or extremely glad that I'm not rhyming everything I'm saying. Uh, hopefully the former, but either way, hear me out. Um, my name's Jake Mikowski. Uh, I am a freshman here at Notre Dame, and I have been composing and performing raps and poetry for about six years. And I can say without a doubt that public speaking is my means of communication. I love doing it. It makes me happy. It's truly my joy. Um, I've traveled around the world a lot. I've been to parts of Asia, Europe, North and South America, and I've seen a lot of different people, a lot of cultures, religions, languages. We're so different in so many ways, but the one thing that unites all of us is that we all have a means of communication. We all have that one thing that we do it and we're like, 
nailed it. Like you just really get happy about yourself. And if I had one piece of advice on my dying breath, it would be find your means of communication. Find what makes you happy. Hone it, master it, share it. And speaking of that, uh, I wrote a rap uh, about my means of communication. So that's going to be a rap about rap. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Hit it. Back in the day, I was quiet and shy. I could barely walk up to a girl and say hi. My knees were shaky and my back was always achy. I gave him lunch money. Bullies didn't need to take it myself. A steam resembled the bones of a swallow. On the surface, I was good, but on the inside, I was hollow. I played with rocks at recess because they were the most patient. Didn't move, didn't march. Just bought out my imagination because I had a big one. Growing up as a kid, some feet will say the same, but not like I did sometimes. Like I'm too proud of it. What I was thinking, I'd start off into the distance and forget to start blinking one time. Some thinking came up to me and said, If we catch you trying to class again, then you're dead, disturbed, and confused. I had nothing to do besides think my sweet thoughts would set my world so asleep. But then after a while of aimless rejection Pointless math classes and history lessons I discovered a thing that was so small at first But it ended up making my confidence burst I learned that I was pretty apt at thinking around Just made me feel invincible like you're gonna make the world mine Just kidding but my self-esteem rose, I became a real boy, call me Pinocchio, and then I joined sports, studied hard, and made a few friends. It really was an epiphany, the means to all ends. Once I found that I could do at least this one thing pretty well, everywhere that I went, I had a story I could tell, and then a joke that I could make, and then a girl that I could date. I went and opened up my gates so that people could come relate, and now I'm loud, happy, proud, and I'm content. Words that before I never knew what they meant, I found a gift. One that I shared with the very few people who thought and who cared But to me it was enough, to me it was enough It showed that life would live with others really ain't so tough But the struggle is real in every sense of the phrase Regardless of where you live or how you spend your days Just know it doesn't matter who you are or where you're from Because I know you have a talent and there's something that you love I refuse to believe that there's a person on earth Who truly and completely has a lack of worth Because the world would be so boring if passion was non-existent don't give up hope if your dreams seem distant Cause it took me years to find it And furthermore to grind it Into something somewhat special So people could get behind it And if you don't know it now That doesn't mean tomorrow It won't be apparent Take my advice or borrow with The first time I spoke rhymes I was worried I'd be judged for crossing a line Or that I wouldn't be very good Or that I'd be misunderstood Or if I acted like I knew Why would I take it back if I could? But I took a chance Being left a little dance And now I'm looking at the future with the Feeling of romance, cause I don't care. I love it, but my car is still intact, just like the bridge above it. I digress. Still, I hope you're seeing. My point is that we all have a reason for being. It's a means of communication spread throughout the whole nation. I'm waiting with anticipation. See what you give adoration. Talk to me through what you love. And if you do it, you'll find peace with God above. And don't believe me. We'll pray to him and ask it. He's gonna say, don't hide your gifts under a bushel basket. You wanna do something, you go ahead and do it. And if something tells you no, you stand up and say, screw it. Talk to me by using any means that you want. Communicate through any way that you deem fit to flaunt. So the message today, if I must spell it out, is that we all have a gift and finding it's what life's about.